Hi, I'm David Charney with eLearning Locker. We've probably all heard of the three-legged stool analogy. You know, we like to think of our system as a three-legged stool with each leg being a, you know, whatever, a, a process. You take one of those processes or legs away and the stool falls down. So we have an e-learning project that talks about this three-legged stool and we thought it might be an interesting interaction. So we had several ideas. Like you have all the parts of the stool laying around and maybe you can drag them together and kind of form the stool. I don't know, it seemed a little overly complicated, both visually and for the learner to kind of interact with, you know, their usability. We finally thought, what if the stool was already together? You know, a clear visual. Uh, you can kind of click and drag the legs out. And when you do that, uh, the stool falls over and you get a little kind of pop-up or additional information to let you know about the importance of that, that one element that you just took out uh, and caused the, the reaction. What's nice about that is it's not overly complicated, it doesn't need a lot of instruction, and it, it should raise the retention level because they're kind of interacting with these specific elements. When we first realized we needed some elements, we didn't have like a graphic of a stool and all three legs being separate elements. So we found kind of a wood texture and then went into Photoshop and used transform to adjust the perspective of the wood, cut out a circle from it. Then we made it look like uh, the wood had some depth by adding a little bit of an edge. One side note, you can use transform warp if you wanted to kind of make that bottom edge curved. Then we went into adjustments and adjusted the brightness a little bit so that the, the side was a little bit darker, had a little bit more depth to it. So that's our top. Now we need the legs. Now I'm not spending a lot of time on this for this sample. And to save some time, I'm gonna just duplicate the, the one leg three times. I'm gonna angle it slightly so that it looks more realistic. Add a little shadow under the seat, under the legs. It'll kind of make it pop out a little bit better. And there we go, we've got our three-legged stool. Now we gotta create what the stool looks like if it falls over three different directions, to the left, to the right, and kind of back if that back leg is pulled out. So again, it's not gonna be pretty. I'm just gonna kind of rotate it over and kind of just play around with it so it looks generally right. And again, I'm going to add some quick shadows on the floor so it looks a little bit more grounded. And I'm going to do that for all three sides, and I'm going to save those out as pings. I'm going to do that for the other two fallen over states, and then I'm going to save all those as pings. So now in Storyline, I'm going to kind of reassemble this thing. I'm going to put a blue box on the top. Uh, that's going to be for instructions, and uh, also it's kind of the space I'm going to have for additional information. Now, I want this to be dynamic, so I'm going to go into each of the states of the legs and the top. And I'm going to create a text box and I'm going to label them. Now we're going to just put the text on the, the edge there. It's We don't have a lot of space there. You could also move it to, to kind of the top of the seat. Now when you click and drag out and then you let go, we want it to kind of snap back to where it was, where it left off. So it's really important to use a combination of freeform with the normal drag and drop triggers that they have. So if you want to go to insert and freeform, it's going to kind of adjust the slide and now you've got a form view. Go ahead and for each A, B, and C, select those three legs so that it knows that those are draggable items. What's also nice about the freeform drag and drop is that you get a number of other options that you don't normally get with just your regular drag and drop triggers. So now let me play this out. And as you can see, I can drag item one out. And if I let go, it snaps back. But what we want it to do is when I drag it out, I want the layer, which is the layer of the, of the stool falling kind of left, to pop up. So to do that, I'm gonna put a hotspot behind everything and I'll show you how I'm gonna use that in just a second. So now I'm gonna create a layer called fall left and I'm gonna insert the fall left image into it. So I'm gonna adjust its size a little bit and it's not quite right, but you know, again, for this sample, it'll work fine. Now you can create a show layer trigger. Uh, select the layer fall left that you created and you can use when the object is dragged over something and then you can select the hotspot. So when you click and drag the uh, the left leg over that hotspot, which is over the entire thing, so anywhere, anytime you drag it or it moves, it's gonna show that layer fall left. So now I'll run this and you can see that this falls over. And there's a lot of other elements that are still on the screen, but I haven't told them to turn off yet. So to hide everything else, I'm just gonna create a change state of trigger and select those other elements and I'm just gonna set it to hidden. So again, when I drag that onto that hotspot, it'll hide all the other, all the other uh, objects on the scene. And again, I will run this and you can see that when I pull that leg out, now it all falls over. Now, when I let go of the leg, nothing comes back. It kind of disappears because uh, I haven't told everything to show back up. So I found a bit of a bug, and maybe it was programmed that way, but to me it's a bug. I wanted to use on click to show everything again, because when dealing with dragging and dropping, the click is actually like the release. When I release the mouse, 
uh, button, it acts as the click, not when I actually press it the first time to grab onto the object and move it. But the click doesn't seem to work right, and I I noticed that if I, see I'll go in here and I'll change the state, and I will remove that little text box that I put on it, um, it when in the edit state mode, and now if I run it, see it works exactly as I expected. Now when I release, everything comes back because it, it's registering that click. But when that text box is on there, it does not register that click. So uh, to me, that's a, a big issue. Um, so I'm gonna have to find a way around that. Okay, so here's my way around that. Um, I'm gonna create a box, a little box, and I'm gonna throw it way off the stage. Okay, now I'm gonna go to triggers and I'm going to change the state of, uh, you know, picture one, for instance, and I'm going to set it to normal instead of hidden. And I'm gonna do that when the user clicks outside of that little object that I just put on the screen. And if I play this again, and I like to kind of preview things incrementally so I can see how they're looking, I can drag the leg out, everything falls over, and I can let go of the leg and it comes back. So that's exactly what I want. Now I'm gonna put the words that I have on the upright version on the fallen over version. And then finally, as far as screen elements go here, I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna put another box on the top. So when you drag the leg out, I want one of these boxes to come up and give you a little bit more information about how taking that leg out affects the, the overall. So I'll preview this one more time. So I pull the leg out, it falls over, the additional information pops up, I release, and everything stands back up. So now's the real fun. You just get to repeat that process over and over and over and over and over again. I'm just gonna breeze through it real quick here so that uh, if you're still awake, you stay awake to the end of the video. And we're all done. So if I uh, drag any of these legs out, you can see the stool fall over. You can see the additional information pop up. It works very well. If you like this video, please press the like button below. And if you accidentally hit the subscribe button below, you'll keep getting videos like this about all the ins and outs of e-learning. You can also check out eLearning Locker at eLearningLocker.com for ideas and templates and all sorts of e-learning everything. Also get the stool template on the website as a free download as well. Happy e-learning! We've probably all heard of the three-legged stool analogy. Legged? 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 Three-legged? Three-legged?